Monday morning. Um, it's like 9.45. I'm heading to the car dealership because you guys are going to hear in a second. My seatbelt will not click and my husband fixed it. This happened. I woke up on, I think, like Friday morning and tried to go to Dunkin' Donuts and I like my seatbelt. My seatbelt wouldn't click. So later that day, my husband like came out and like fixed it, but then it happened again on Saturday where like the thing gets jammed and I can't put my seatbelt into the mechanism. So I'm just gonna bring it because I don't want my husband to keep fixing it and like it just keep happening. I just want a new mechanism because obviously something is wrong with it if it's break, like if it keeps doing that. So if I were to get into a car accident, who knows if it would even work. Um, so I'm going to do that. I missed my workout this morning. I was supposed to work out at eight o'clock. I mean, no, I was supposed to work out at nine o'clock and then go straight to this appointment after, but Hampton was up all night last night. Um, so I just literally could not get up at eight o'clock. Like I looked at my phone at eight and I was just like, there's literally just no way. Like I could get up if Hampton was up and like deal with him, but I could not work out. Like I just, I got no sleep. Um, I don't know what's going on. I think we, like, I think it was the sweet potatoes because, so we, let, I don't, I didn't show or anything, but um, we let him try sweet potatoes yesterday for the first time because we're like slowly introducing solids. And he was like so hyper and just like, just different. Like, Dylan woke up, like, I think we both woke up at like 3 a.m. and he was like, he just like doesn't do this. Like, what's going on? I'm like, I don't know. I think it's literally the sweet potatoes. Like, I think, I don't think there's any sugar in them. I need to look at the label again. I don't think there's any sugar in them, but if there is, we're not giving them him, giving him them anymore. Like he does not need any sugar. Um, but I think, I think that's what did it. I like, at one point I went in and he had thrown up like all over his bed like where his head was and at night I like couldn't see and then like when I was like I would um, have like a burp cloth on my shoulder patting him and like he kept like spitting up but like obviously it was nighttime so I didn't see anything and then this morning when I went in it's all orange so he was like throwing up and spitting up the sweet potatoes like all night long he went to bed at 7 20 it was so hard to get him to sleep like he was so tired but just would not go to sleep fighting him fighting him fighting him finally got him down at like 7 20 he woke up again at 10 45 then got him fed him got him back down um he woke up at 3 30 didn't go back to sleep until probably like 4 15 like just was not like what was wide awake um got him back down at 4 15 he woke up again at 6 30 fed him got him back down and then he literally just slept until nine o'clock 9 15 like he has never slept in this late ever um so I really don't know what that means for our day now like I don't know if he's gonna still take a nap I don't know but like he was up like <laughs> all night basically so I feel like he's like was like damn I'm tired so he slept in until nine o'clock so <sighs> yeah that's my day so far I'm, it's 9 45 I'm heading to get my car looked at my appointment's at 10 o'clock. Um, I'm hoping this isn't going to take too long. Like, I'm not going to sit here for two hours. Like, I'm just not going to do that. If anything, I will leave my car here and I will get picked up and coffee at Duncan because I am so tired. I wanted to do a little unboxing haul. I got Hampton some clothes and then we went to Walmart today because we are starting to introduce solids. We're not doing, like, anything crazy, but he has just, like, not been loving his bottle lately and I think it's like I think I know why and we're gonna fix that when we go to the doctor on Wednesday but I just wanted to introduce some foods just to see like just to get our feet wet he's um we'll just start with the Walmart stuff I guess since I just showed you we got so we got bananas that's probably the only fruit we'll give him right now um just because I want to give him some wafers and they have sweet potato and banana in them so I want to make sure that he is all good on the sweet potato and the banana before I give him those wafers. So we got a pack of just the banana. We got a two pack and then we got a two pack of, I guess we got two, two packs of the banana. And then I think we got two, two packs of the sweet potatoes as well. Um, we gave him some sweet potatoes a little bit 
a little while ago and he actually really really liked them so i'm just gonna do sweet potatoes this week and see how he does with them and then we'll introduce bananas next week and then if he's good on that then i'll introduce the wafers to him after that and then i also we picked him up um this rice cereal um not sure if i'm gonna give him this i'm gonna wait to go to the doctor and see about this first before i give it to him um and then we just picked up a pack of bowls just so i can like kind of divvy this up i have little ramekins that i think i'm gonna put it in so i know exactly how much he's actually eating um of it and then i'll put it in these bowls and like warm it up for him so i got him some of his own bowls and then i also got him spoons but i'm not seeing them I hope I didn't leave them at my aunt's house, but I got him a pack of spoons. Not sure where they went. Okay. Then from oh, these, I got him these spoons. So they're the ones that you like dip and they say like if they're, if it's too hot or too, well, if it's too hot to eat. So it'll turn white if it's too hot. Um, so got him those. Okay. Next up, Walmart had some really, really cute little sweat sets. So I got him this little pair of joggers. They have like little RV, like, I don't know they're like i guess they have vans and trucks and like little scooters on them but these were so cute they were only 4.98 so got him these and then i also got him the matching sweater but they didn't have the sweater in his size so i just got it in the size up i really like his clothes to be oversized so and then i also got him this little set um it has little like lions on it it's so freaking cute i guess it has lions and tigers on it but um adorable got him that and then i just got him the little joggers to match these are literally 4.98 they had like i think three other patterns as well um for boys so very cute if you have a boy check out walmart five bucks you can't beat it they grow out of their clothes so fast so i just feel like five bucks for that is like really good and i've been looking for little like sets i love to just put him in a set i feel like it's the fastest thing i like it over putting him in like a one piece because in the one pieces you have to like do a million buttons and i'm just not about that life um i just love a quick set it like i feel like it just like he looks put together and cute and it's just like easy let me go grab him okay and then i wanted to unbox a couple packages i got in for him today so the first one is old navy um i just got him a couple sets from there as well um just because he is like not really fitting in his three to six month clothes they're kind of tight on him um well they really just don't fit anymore so i kind of just like switched his closet over to all of like the six month and the six to nine month stuff that i have and we don't really have a lot of it so i figured i would just order him a few little things and we had a gift card to old navy so i just used that for these so um Old Navy doesn't do six to nine months. They do three to six and then six to 12. So these are six to 12 months. So they'll fit them for a while, but it's just this little green crew neck. And then they're like these little green, like linen pants, which I really love because I'll be able to wear these like in the spring and they're not going to be as warm for him, um, but they are double lined. So he can still wear them right now and be okay. So I got him that and like the little olive green color. And then I got him the same set in this light blue. I have been loving color for him. I really thought I'd be a sad beige mom, but I really don't think I am. I like love him in color. I do have a lot of beige stuff because I thought I was gonna be like a minimal, like brown, beige, whatever mom. So I do have a lot of it, but I do really like color too. So same thing, just in this light blue color with the light blue little pants. These are so cute. These are gonna look so cute in the freaking spring. I can't wait. And then lastly from Old Navy, they had this set, it was like for boys and girls. So they had a few different patterns and they had like three patterns for girls and only this one I guess could be for girl or boy. But this was the only one that was like a boy could wear. The other one was like hearts, flowers. And I don't, the other one I think was just like pink or something. So I got him this little, Set and it has like little different insects on it snails and just different things like that super cute i just think it's like i don't know just cute for kids and then i just got him these really soft pants to go with it so got him those and then lastly i'll hurry up here because as you can hear him i just got a couple things from zara Okay, so first up, I got him these cute little pants. These are 
six to nine months. They kind of look big for six to nine months. Like I feel like they look, let's see. Yeah, they're bigger than Old Navy's six to 12 months. <laughs> Anyways, he, um, I know he has a set right now from Zara that's three to six months and he's like, it's like fitting him pretty snug. So I sized up to six to nine months for him, but I got him these little pants and they have like little bunnies on them. So I figured for like Easter time, he could wear these in the spring. I just love this blue color. And like, also this would be cute with this little blue sweater I got him. So cute. Um, so I got him those. Those were $3.99 on sale. So just had to pick them up. Zara's sale section is actually so good. Like their sale is like actually on sale. Like things are like $3.99, $7.99, $5.99. Like it's good prices. Um, and then this is the set that he has in three to six months. He has it in brown and he's growing out of it. Okay. So it's just this little gray sweatshirt that says Hampton on it. Absolutely obsessed. Zara's clothes are so soft. They're so nice. This was only $25 and then I think it's an extra $3 to get the engraving and you can get like anything engraved. They have like a few different fonts, a ton of different colors and you can even get like, like emojis. Like you can get like a little dinosaur or a basketball or like a heart or whatever. It's really, really cute. Um, but I just got Hampton and then it comes with the cute little joggers as well. This is the only color they had right now in his size. But I figured this stuff will get us through this and then these will get us through the rest of the winter. And yeah, that is my little haul for right now. I'm going to go get him because he's screaming his head off for no reason. Um, but yeah, that's my little haul. I just wanted to show you guys what we got. Hi guys. Well, right now I'm going to Starbucks because I want to try that new, it's like the hazelnut cookie. Oh, did I leave my phone inside? Oh. I'm literally using it. Um, I want to try that new hazelnut cookie, whatever, um, drink. And then we're going to go to the post office. And I think I'm just going to like park down by the post office and we're going to walk around because it's 50 degrees and sunny out. And like it literally has not been this nice out in so long. So I think we're just going to go for a walk. I think we're just going to go for a walk, get some fresh air. And yeah, that's I am leaving Hampton for the first time tomorrow. I have never left him like, I don't think I've left him for more than like four hours ever. Maybe not even four, maybe three. But tomorrow I'm going to New York um, to the city because my friend is trying on wedding dresses. So I'm gonna go and spend the day with her. We're gonna do that, we're gonna do like dinner, whatever. Um, but I'm just going down in the morning and then I'm coming home at night. So I think my train leaves at like eight o'clock tomorrow morning and then it my train back is at like 7 50 and i'll get home around like 10 so i literally i'll see hampton before i go because he wakes up around like six so um oh where am i going i just went the wrong way i guess i'll just go this way um so yeah i i um i'll be away from him for like the whole day which is like so scary but i have to get used to it because i'm going back to work on thursday so this thursday coming the 15th i go back to work and i'll be away from him for like 10 hours a day nine hours a day um which is just gonna be really 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 hard and i'm just genuinely not ready i cannot believe that like okay so i got the grande chocolate hazelnut cookie cold brew what it looks like it of course never looks as good as it does like in their picture but there's like some like it's like the same cookies that they put on top of the that frappuccino one i don't really drink cold brew because it's so like has that taste but i feel like with this you would have to get the cold brew or else it would just taste like a dessert if you just got iced coffee because i feel like the iced coffee is not like strong enough to like overpower the chocolatey flavor but it's really good it just tastes kind of like i don't know it tastes chocolatey i should say it's not a coffee it's a treat this is like an afternoon treat pretty good Yeah. 
What are you saying? Freaking hell. Are you talking to me? this blue Stanley. These are so freaking cute. I just stopped into the hatchet like Ace Hardware like the little like home store and I'm looking for short glass straws but I haven't been able to find any. So they only have like long ones. I want short ones for when I have like my coffee in the morning but I haven't found them yet. Okay we're back in the car. Heading home, we walked around. Um, we stopped and saw my husband at work. Um, and he started getting really, really cranky. He's like tired. Um, so yeah, we decided to, I was just like, okay, we're just gonna go get in the car and we'll drive home and he'll fall asleep. So he's already asleep. Um, but yeah, so it's 2.30. I'm gonna go get my nails done tonight and then I'm gonna go to the gym. And yeah, that'll probably be my day. I feel ready to continue. Simply stop and rest on the mat until you are ready to rejoin the virtual As well, that didn't end how I thought it would. Um, well, actually it kind of did. I had a feeling this would happen. This nail salon like overbooked sometimes and it's actually the most annoying thing ever. So it didn't get my nails done. to New York about to head to the train station so I'm wearing uh, Abercrombie turtleneck this bomber is from my store um black belt from not even sure my H&M jeans and then just my Sambas so gonna head to grab coffee and then to the train station So I want to do a little haul. We did some shopping yesterday and I just wanted to show you guys kind of what we got. Um, some of this stuff I just want to show you now because I feel like if I don't show you now it will be gone um, because you guys know how TJ Maxx and Home Goods kind of go. So um, first we went to TJ Maxx. We actually went for other stuff and then we ended up finding Easter stuff for Hampton. So we were like, okay, we might as well just get it now because if, like I said, if we don't get it, like it won't be there so first we got him this is his gonna, this is gonna be his basket it's so big and this was only 20 bucks like i said it's really big they also had it in pink so if you have a girl um so this is the basket we got him and then we just got him some little stuff inside of it a lot of it like is for like bigger ages but we'll be like playing with it with him so i just figured it would be okay um, first are these bibs. I might have to give him these before because he's just going through like literally five to six bibs a day. So we might need these before, but, um, these are nice. They're like the ribbed cotton material. And then the other side is also cotton. I hate the ones that are, um, cotton on one side and fleece on the other. Like nothing, like fleece doesn't absorb anything. So it's really gross. Oh, I have one right here. So this side is cotton. As you can see, it's not absorbed at all this side is fleece so there's that so I got him some bibs and then we got him this bubble blaster like I said this is for age three and up but like this will be for us to play with him with it like he I think he'll really like bubbles so um got him this little it's like just like a bubble gun we'll play with these um and no batteries required which is really nice I really am trying to steer away from battery toys so 
um that's good then i got him this so it's basically like a cover that goes over like the high chair but also over the baby so it's like has long sleeves and then this part like goes over the high chair and it like clips underneath the high chair um and it has also um a fork and a spoon um and yeah so i figured this would be something good for him he's starting solid so i figured this would be good and it's like that easy material that you can just wipe off and i've been looking for like long sleeve bibs for him so i figured this would be good um, then we got him this really cute peep um they also had this in pink and yeah just pink and yellow um it's like weighted on the bottom so it stands up super cute love this and it's really really soft they had a bigger one too but i just feel like we have so many stuffed animals we really don't need anymore so got him that and then just got him a little bath set because he's now like finally starting to be able to like actually like move his head and see in the bathtub because our tub is really like it's like a standalone high tub um so we got him this little like fishing net and then with the different little bath toys so he can like fish in the bath um and they also spray so like we can like squeeze the water and it'll spray him um and then we got him my husband picked this out which i think it's really cute but it's just really big but my husband tried the shorts on him and they fit um oversized so we got him this little tommy bahama outfit so it's just this cute little like floral shirt with a little fedora and then these little shorts not sure if he'll wear this on easter because easter is in march and it's going to be cold probably still so but just a cute little spring outfit to have um and yeah that's everything so far for easter also we'll probably put some like by the time easter is here he'll be able to have like puffs and stuff so we'll put like some snacks and stuff in there for him but yeah that's his easter basket for now um i just wanted to show you a couple things we got yesterday at carter's so i will show you guys that's a little close that we got him so first we got him a pack of nine months um white onesies because right now he's in six months but they aren't like he's like too long for them like i'm like stretching it to get them to button so just got him a pack of white onesies for nine months you just need these for everything i put them he's in he wears sets like every day so he like needs one of these to go underneath his like sweaters and stuff every single day so got him a pack of those and then we picked him up this cute little cardigan it's so cute my husband really likes stuff like this i realized because he also got him a jacket that was like navy blue with the gray sleeves and the stripe um but this is like a little knit cardigan so we got this in nine months just because he doesn't really have a lot of like sweaters and stuff to go over like if he was just gonna wear like this like he could wear this over it he doesn't have a lot of stuff like this um he has a like one other zip up hoodie and that's really it because like you guys know babies cannot wear coats so um got him this little cute sweater i feel like this would be cute for easter too and then next these are my favorite thing we got look at these cute overalls i'm dead so it has like the blue and green and cream checkers oh my god i'm so dead these would be so cute for easter with a little like white shirt underneath so freaking cute so we got him these he had a pair um when he was smaller not with this color checkered on it i don't know if it had checkered on it or not um and he only got to wear them once so we got him these in six months and i feel like they'll fit him for a little bit super cute and then we just got him some joggers and we got these in 12 months just because I like his stuff oversized and this stuff shrinks so much and I'm not going to be the girl that's like air drying my kids clothes like it's just not going to happen. So we got him them in blue and then in black and these I probably won't give him until probably Easter. I'll probably put these in his Easter basket and then by then they will fit him a little bit better um, in like once we wash and dry them and everything like that so yeah that is everything we got him i'm probably gonna wash this stuff now um just so he can start wearing it because well he definitely needs these onesies now um so definitely gonna wash these now i'm gonna do a load of laundry for him i literally just did his laundry yesterday and i just hung it up like this morning but he already has another full basket full from just yesterday to today oh my god his oh my god i need to go get this camera oh my goodness